It's a big one. The Bath Wild Kittens are one win away from their 21st WBL softball title. Thanks in part to last night's 3 0 win over Elida, senior Julia Miller not only picked up the win in the circle, but the future Toledo Rocket hit a two run homer in the victory. Defending state champs wrapping up the WBL schedule next Tuesday at Kenton, but first they host Shawnee tonight. The Indians, along with Elida, both two games back of the Kittens, so faint hopes of sharing the title with Bath. But big crowd for this one. Shawnee leading 2 0 in the fourth, Miller in the circle. Future Toledo Rocky gets Alyssa Windau, her counterpart, swinging. One out now for Maggie Sane. She hits a liner into center field, trying to add to that 2 0 lead. That's a base hit. Brings up Rachel Evans, runner on first. Miller gets her swinging and eventually gets out of the inning. Jump ahead, bottom seven, bat down 5 1 now. Windau gets Abby Cozart swinging for the second out. They're feeling the upset. Last chance for the Kittens, Alex Rube. Keeps Hope alive, single the other way, right down the line. Then Kareth Zinsenberger comes to the plate. Windau gets the pop up. Kirsten Courtney squeezes it. Shawnee gets the 5 1 victory. Lady Indians hand bath its first WL loss since 2012. Windau pitched a gem, and it was a total team effort for Shawnee to earn the big WBL victory. Best team win of the year, no question about it. Might be the best team win in a couple years. Um, Bath is, like I say, the measuring stick of how good your team is. And to come in here and have a great game like we did and play well, uh, focused, not make too many mistakes, get timely hits and great pitching, I'm really proud of these kids. We played the hardest games we could. We're trying to win as many games as we can. Bath is a really good team. It's kind of one of our goals on the season. And they're a good team, and I'm just glad we beat them. <laughs> 